What an absolute disastrous pass that he gave to Ben Davis. Mm. I mean, it had it had lack of composure and lack of confidence written all over it. You would have thought a goalkeeper of his experience, as by the two mistakes that he made for the first goal, would get would get over that. But he clearly hadn't. And all of a sudden, you're two down. And if you give Wolves two goals of a start, this side doesn't let in goals. This mm. side doesn't give many teams too much of a sniff. And so when you're 2-0 down against Wolves, you're pretty much done and dusted. And, and that finished up being the case. We know Hugo Lloris has got these sort of games in him, Shaq. Yeah, and, and that's been the complaint for, for quite some time for both for both club and country, in, in all honesty. Um, whereas in, in, in terms of a country, you, you might be a little bit... Um, not sure of, of, of where, where, you, where you turn to for club, I have to admit, I'm, I'm surprised that Spurs haven't, haven't looked for, for, a, a, for a new goalkeeper, in, in all honesty. And Steve's right. Listen, in, in, in defense of, of, of Loris for, for just a moment, he did make a, quite a few other good saves during the game. But you can't get away from, from the mistakes that, that caused the, the two goals that sent Wolves on their way. And as much as Spurs dominated the second half, the horse, the horse has already bolted. And, and it's up to you now to, to, to break a, 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 a determined Wolves team down. And you, you just can't give them that, that kind of a lead. For, for Wolves, I'm talking about this run for the, the, the top four. We focus on, on United, Spurs, and, and West Ham. We focus on Arsenal, especially after Arsenal beat, beat Wolves last week. But Wolves have only lost to Arsenal, Liverpool, and City, taking back to, to October. They had a couple of disappointing draws. But all of a sudden, Wolves are, are the mm. team that are looking the most likely to finish in the top four, and you show exactly why today. Uh, well, let's simplify it. Stevie, are Spurs out of this top four race? Yeah, I think so. I, I, I do. Uh, you know, I think it was only a couple of weeks ago I was saying that I thought they could get the fourth spot. But defensively, they are just atrocious. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not saying that they have the odd bad game in them. They are just all over the place. And quite frankly, the personnel um, isn't good enough. Ben Davis isn't good enough to play in a back three. Um, I mean, your Reese we've already spoken of, oh, spoken about, and then you've got Davis and Sanchez. Oh my goodness! Uh, so, no, uh, they're going. They lose far too many goals. The personnel isn't going to change that much, um, if at all. And so, because of that, no, I, th I think they're probably out it now. The big winners this weekend, as well as Wolves, of course, Arsenal, who weren't in action because West Ham drew, United drew, Spurs lost. Where are we standing, Shaq, on who's going to get that fourth place? Right now, I think Wolves, Wolves are in pole position. Listen, a few months ago, I said it, it seems like who's going to be the, the least bad of uh, the team that are going to finish fourth. After Wolves lost to Arsenal last week, I, they, they didn't enter into the conversation all that much. And then, as, as you just point out, West Ham dropped points. United dropped points. Spurs obviously lose to Wolves. Um, Arsenal don't play their, their game in, in, in hand for this weekend. is supposed to be against world champions Chelsea, which I know we'll get to. So, I'm not sure, you know, if you're Wolves, you kind of like that. You kind of, you kind of like that you've flown the Shaka the Hitler, Arsenal fans, just, Arsenal just fans, so would argue, they'll say, look, we've got one game in hand over Wolves, we're two points ahead of them, <laughs> and we've already beaten them just last week. So what's wrong with Shaka? Why is he so anti-Arsenal that he's coming out and saying Wolves ahead of us? I'm, I'm not at all anti-Arsenal. As, as I said... After they beat Wolves, especially in that second half performance, that was that was a, a performance from Arsenal we've, we've not been able to speak about for a couple of years. Now, if they keep that up, surely it's, it's, it's the fourth place is theirs to lose. But just after 45 minutes, I'm not going to say that this all of a sudden is the resilient Arsenal that, that we know from five or six years ago. <laughs> I don't even know that Shaq understands what he was saying there. Of course he does. <laughs> he's not anti-Arsenal. That's what we're taking away from Right, him. so he's not anti-Arsenal, but Arsenal's not finished no. in the fourth position. No. Okay. So that is, it's, it's, that's it? That's it. Who have you got? 
Look. Arsenal look great because we never saw them playing. <laughs> well, yes, exactly. That's it. You That's know what's going to be the key, Dan? Sometimes it's better if you don't play. All of a sudden you look, all of a sudden you get in the mind. You don't actually know that bad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Shaka didn't remember that he had paid compliments to Arsenal. Yeah. And, and all of a sudden he brought it out of nowhere. Uh, the key here is going to be the training sessions by Ralph Rangnick and Chris, and Chris Armas. They are oh, going to bring no. Manchester no, together. No, that was a sarcastic tone to that, oh, Ali. No. Oh, you noticed it? <laughs> oh, no. Manchester United is going to come together in those yeah. training sessions. Yes. And they're going to be your fourth place team. You don't believe me, do you? Well, no, you have not sold it, considering <laughs> I it. I don't believe it either, man. I'll tell you what. How, how does it... How does a team become fourth when right now all they're doing is praising themselves for having a good 45 minutes in a 90-minute game? Because that's all I hear mm-hmm. these days. Well, we're really good for 45. We just need to work out the other 45. If a team like that gets fourth, it tells you a lot about the rest. Well, what about the training sessions? They're going to get better, Dan. Right, I've had enough of your nonsense. Okay. Right, of course. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, it was... Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.